Hola. Last time we have completed our uh, life cycle policy, right? And versioning. So in life cycle policy, we have created a bucket and in the bucket, we have created a folder, multiple files we have uploaded. If you see uh, now on this side, so we have created on the second by the same time 726 or uh, somewhere is the creation time. Now it's moved to the glacier uh, storage. Yeah. Right. Because two days back we have created the, uh, these files and now it is everything moved to the glacier because we have given after one day. Right. So if you want yeah. to see uh, your proper means properties of uh, this one our life cycle policy, you have created this backup and backup too. Okay. okay. So if you click in the, uh, there, you can want to add it and you can see the, uh, the rules, what you have configured. It's transition to Amazon Glacier after one day. So that's the reason everything now moved to the Glacier file system. That's the way you can create your own life cycle policy according to your company requirement. Uh -huh. You got it up to here? Yeah. Or you want to uh, see once again? No, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. So now we will today we will uh, cover up our the next thing how we can uh, uh, you can see uh, this thing also there is some matrices uh, you can see here they can give you the nice uh, view graph uh, how what it is in uh, use or it's uh, on the single dates move up to here so is the standard uh, storage here uh, RR storage here standard IA and here it is showing I think Glacier no all type of storage is it's showing it's not showing here in the graph. Uh, this thing um, glacier storage is not uh, showing here in uh, it is last two weeks uh, data it is showing if you want to just see one week or one day it will show you this uh, different way so it is zero because one day before everything moved to glacier there is no changes into the uh, our standard IA or uh, reduce the redundancy storage okay so now come on the uh, another thing we are going to create a uh, EC2 instance. Last time when we started our EC2 instance and I think I forgot to switch it off uh, last time uh, one running instance is there. Oh. So okay let's see go to connect this one. So you bring charge because it's running. Yeah, yes, definitely. If I'm seeing here now, okay, it's a good thing. We can check our billings uh, thing here. I will open into another tab. So you can see here. In, uh, see here. In a single. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, so they are charging uh, on that one because I didn't switch it off. Okay. So they charged uh, 41 cents? Yes. 2.59 INR. Okay, 2 rupees 59. Yeah, paise. Paise. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so now come on uh, here, and I just uh, want to connect this particular system with the, my uh, server, this laptop. Just a minute. Uh, now I have to open terminal. You can't see my terminal. Okay. So in this terminal, I, I will just directly, yes, I will give the keys here. Yes, public keys are not listed here. Okay, so it is not this way. I have to give dot txt it is here dot txt so now i am able to log in no not no. accessible by others to open okay, sorry i have to log in through the root
okay yes i logged in into that system okay so here i came as again i'm giving sudo access now see here aws ls s3 uh, okay aws s3 ls list so it is showing all the buckets into my this uh, particular uh, you can see uh, in this instance I can see all the S3 how I can see because we have created now you can see Safari uh -huh. can you see my Safari browser yeah yeah I can see I can see okay now if you go here I am we have created a roles ec storage right which has full access of s3 full access and ec2 full access uh -huh. these two roles we have given to our ec2 instance correct this particular instance if i'm open this one running instance yes uh, this one so uh -huh. we have I attach this particular IAM roles. If I disable this particular role, then it will not work. It cannot. You can't do anything onto the uh, uh, the on particular bucket, or you can't do uh, see anything as you know, on the S3 side, right? Okay. So I'm just disabling it. No role. Apply. Yes. Detach. Error. Required do not exist due to internal service error. May need to Think stop the instance. I, but it should be on the fly. Uh, oh, okay. It should be, but uh, why? Because it. Yes, that. Okay. Okay. So now, if I'm. So going, you, this EC two EC two is nothing but the running instances, right? EC two is the running instance. Running instance, yeah. and when you say EC two storage. Uh, it is referring to the S3 storage which is attached to it, correct? Yes. Okay. So since you have given uh, EC to full access and S3 storage full access, you are able to see all the storages. Yes, I am able to. Okay. AWS configure. Just a minute. Okay. So here is one problem because here I have already configured AWS. So what is AWS configure means you have to just attach your AWS keys and it will do the same operation what you are running through the GUI. So today we will cover that particular topic. So I'm going to create a new instance. I'm going to uh, stop this one or I'm yes, I'm going to create a new uh, launching a new instance. Let's see this particular Ubuntu server. Can we do Red Hat? Yeah, well, we can, but uh, we have to, uh, Red Hat has the problem. You, you can't get the uh, Red Hat online uh, repository. When you will go to install pip install or AWS, it will not give you the repository. Or we can do the CentOS. CentOS repository will be there. You want to uh, do on CentOS? No, it doesn't matter. It's a Linux flavor, right? You want yeah, to do yeah. it, so. no, All I want to see is on uh, RHEL because that is uh, you can install RHL, RHL but uh, only the repository is the problem uh, okay. yes it's installing and what uh, repository we are referring here so here on automatically a uh, ubuntu repository will by default installed with that and it has the access online on the internet and you can install all the packages but in the red hat they are i think charging for that you have to uh, means by the license from the Red Hat, then it will connect. Otherwise, you have to find uh -huh. something online, RHL, where somewhat put all the packets, or sorry, uh, RPMs, you can see that. Okay. okay, meantime, what I will do, I'm coming on, uh, just a minute. I yes, we are today going to create a new policy. Read policy. No, not 
option with it. We try this instance. See one minute. It's no okay. I will direct go from here. CD slash users. I am admin user and because I have I have to go where my uh, kept my keys. Uh -huh. So otherwise, if I run anywhere, it will not work out. So I am giving this keys name and logging to my new Ubuntu server. Yes. So yeah, if I am giving AWS L uh, uh, S3 LS, it will not work out because the package itself not installed. So what you have to do, you have to install firstly Python repository that is uh, Python Python pip. So, oh, sorry, it's not yum. apt get install Python hyphen because I'm more comfortable in Red Hat only. So, okay. This is uh, unable to fetch many things. It is saying fail to fail fetch. To fetch. Yes, because you selected as the region as Ohio. What it's saying? Not found. No, many things are not found here. Let me try once again. Yeah, because you have selected Ohio, right? That is Midwest, and I think you don't have access to to fetch the packages which are which are region based. I guess. What do you think, sir? Oh, might be, but uh, unable to fetch some archive, maybe run every day update to try and... Uh, I not found, 404 not found IP. Yes. So you are unable to ping that IP. Maybe... True, true, true. Ping 54.189.106.201. It's pinging. Uh, okay. Yeah, last time also for me you did a star. When oh, still it's the same. HTTP, I think this particular I have to see Ubuntu.com main. Oh, I'm not found this particular IP address. Fail to fetch security. This one there not found. Okay, on that particular server, this is not there. No, there are one two packages. Yeah, it's like we can see the apt.com file. It is from your side or it's uh, beep is coming from my side? No, from my side. Okay. Wait a minute, how will beep it?
EPT get check let's try once again oh. okay there is might be some repository issue here so what okay. we have to do uh, okay so I how I can install now the thing is uh, we can change once again so it's installed somewhere US West 2 and where is my other one is installed which are again running here this one this is also West 2 right so then what is the problem both are the same thing same location Fifty two hundred. This is the public IP of this one. Let it be reboot once again. Okay. Let's say otherwise, what we have to do, we have to reinstall it once again. <coughs> or parallelly, we can start. Will it ping? No. Never should because when you restart the IP will change. So I have to see now the what is yep. the new IP. See IP has changed. I don't think so it will work. Okay, meantime, uh, quickly we will redeploy. Means from rather than wasting the time here, I'm just going to stop it here. will take another two minutes
two. Yes, here it's working. Sometimes, oh, it's again. I think Python pip is not there in PT get The same error is giving me. Okay, bad luck. No problem. So what I will do, I will just want to show you. So once you will install this AWS, you know, AWS S3 LS. So into this server. So where it is working, I will show you there itself rather than. So AWS that is their internal commands, right? So now let's see your requirement is you want to see something and uh, where you can say uh, in the application itself you want to create you want to use some files. Okay. Uh, one, one second. Yeah. One minute. Let me let it become back. Otherwise, I will copy.
this also gone okay i will use this So what I'm uh, doing now here, so I'm giving AWS command, AWS S3 LS. So it, now it will not, uh, it will not show me anything because first thing I didn't create any rule for uh, this particular instance. He will get the access or show me the, all the buckets. No, it can't do. Second, which option I'm going to show you now thing is uh, let's see you have some uh, you want to create whenever uh, something is required you are creating a new bucket how you can create the new bucket you can uh, go to the GUI and create a new, uh, new bucket but if you have some application which whenever you want you are creating a uh, new bucket into the AWS so what you will do you can every time you can do the GUI automation right so somewhere from the CLI or from your directly from the one instance, you are creating some scripts and automatically creating, copying the data, everything onto the new bucket. So how you can do? So AWS is giving you one of the you know, wonderful option, AWS con <coughs> configure. So what you have to configure? You have to give the access key, key, right? Yeah. So let's see, I'm right now just giving zero then secret access key i'm giving zero then uh, you have to give the region then you have to give output format that is so now you need four things but three are the mandatory access key and the secret access key so come on your uh, this safari and uh, you can just create a new key because uh, when you create a new key it will show you the access key right and your secret key so i am just creating these two things new copying it and just paste it somewhere okay let it be here okay so let's i'm using this particular is my secret key right so, but before that, I think I didn't uh, done yet. Yes. Download key files. I can uh, give it if I want. Close it. So, it's already created. So, now. So, first option, it came access key. So, that is my secret access key or second is a secret uh, key ID. Firstly, key ID. So, I'm just copying it and giving that option okay now it is asking for secret access key that is my this one now third is what is your region name so if you don't know it is definitely you know about us west 2 right yeah so sometimes it's uh, it's not taking or you should know where it is so how you can do it just search it uh, even uh, Amazon uh, regions names so it will give you the uh, exact region names and IDs so yeah, we have uh, US West 2, right? So this is, right? This is we are using? Yeah. US Carolina, North California. Oh, as per the link, I think it was saying US West 2. Yes, uh, US West 2 because we have, if we, you go to uh, this one it is somewhere showing here us yeah, in the access ID, it, yes. it is here availability zone DNS. us oh, west yeah, in the public 2b. DNS also showing. Yeah, right so this is 2b 
to b means they are in the availability zone so region is 2 right so what i will do even you can see a yes here public dns also so now what i am giving i am giving here us west 2 this you can leave it now you have configured this you configured the access key now you if you run this one as 3 ls because i have the root user it will now show you everything again because it is using my secret key my id to see all the aws setting now so let's see i want to uh, show inside a file so you can just give aws in your script you have something mentioned Okay, I will log in into and see the uh, all the files name. All right. So, S three. You can see uh, here. Okay. Yes. You can just get ls s three. It will go into the bucket. Uh, I think bucket name is wrong. X three. Oh, yeah, just a minute. Is three LS one minute AWS as three LS as three colon double slash. The name of the pub bucket. So my name of bucket is exa file storage. <coughs> oh, it is a you are working on attempting operation on a bucket in a region that requires signature versions. For you have fixed this issue. Expect certificate, I guess. Yes, something correct region location. Okay, my region location is not correct. When I given this one, when I AWS I configured. US hyphen West hyphen two. Wow, why it is wrong? Wait a minute. We can check. Okay, so this is my instance where, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is run, instance is running on this one, but my bucket is, might be somewhere else. Uh, just a minute, let me go to the, you can go to the bucket. Storage. Yes, where I create this storage. Yes, this is different. This is US hyphen East. Okay. So it is a uh, now I have to given there the when I configure I have to given the region this one US hyphen east if you want uh -huh. uh, really you want to see you can go here uh, some yes east uh, which one or your two this is our region because if you see here it is showing for you o h i o how you spell means uh, pronounce it I'm not sure. So here, what I have to do, I have to run this again. This is same, but here we have to give the US East to. Now we can check. Yes. Huh? Huh, yes. Now it is showing. See here, it is showing two particular uh, storages. This particular file is there. If I am going. Again, I will show you all the buckets. See here, you can see all the buckets. Can I make it little big for you? Yeah, yeah, please. Or I, I think we can view it little bigger. Right. So I'm um, just start. So you can see S3 LS and oh sorry aws s3 ls aws so you can see all the bucket names here so now the uh, you want to see inside the bucket you can see just give uh, s3 
ls then s3 colon double slash the bucket name exe let's see file storage backup is this so it is showing abc under uh, this one that is particular folder it is showing now let's see from here itself you want to create a bucket so i am what i am doing aws s3 you create bucket make bucket mb make bucket so the new name you have to give colon double slash i want to give ex file uh, storage hyphen backup backup is already there i am just saying here uh, aws uh, something aws backup see it's showing you make bucket right so how you can uh, means this is the way how you can create a bucket from cli mode you can uh, view the files you can copy the files you can delete also right so all these things options are available through your command line so other uh, i can show you if you see now again aws s3 ls so it is the new bucket game Even now come on the gui part let's see so if you see the gui it came uh okay so you can uh, see here abhi okay so yeah. can you do uh, these things only uh, today practical you yeah, can, yeah, sure. I can okay do. i mean you want to yeah, yeah uh, i'm here only but uh, somebody uh, my friend is here so i just uh, you can start your practical okay, okay. if you are uh, required uh, you can uh, ping me uh, anywhere right or you just you know, tell to the e corp they can again call me Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Or finish yeah. your practical up to here. Tomorrow we will start from here next. Tomorrow we will okay. going to start CloudFront. Okay. 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 Sure. Sure.